This is the Estadio Libertadores de America, the home of Independiente. But today, this Saturday afternoon, it's Argentina against the French Barbarians Rugby Union. Argentina not played since the autumn of last year. That's the problem with not being in a regular tournament. That, of course, will all change when they link up in the Tri-Nations. And some unfamiliar names in the Argentina lineup, but uh, only one man, and that is the University of Santa Fe prop, Max Bustos, is actually new to international rugby. The rest have all played some part or other in Argentina's Pumas colours. And indeed, 13 of them, 13 of this squad, have played or are playing currently in France. Decent crowd gathered for this. This is the French Barbarians lineup, coached by the cast of prayer of Laurent Travers and Laurent Labitte. Effectively a side composed of those unlikely to break into France's World Cup squad, though you never know with their coach, uh, Marc Lievremont. But there are a couple of certainly who will be waiting for a call up. So, referee Pastrana is doing the last count. And Felipe Contopomi gets the game underway. Argentina have got a couple of names in their pack, certainly Rodrigo Ronquero at uh, loose head and Augustin Crevy at hooker. You'll know here he is with the ball now, Crevy. Powerful characters, but alongside those two in the front row, Max Bustos making his international debut. Now France, the Barbarians turn it over and a willingness to run with it straight away. They've got two really excellent wingers and 11 is Marc Andre, cut by France just a year ago. Contopomi getting into the mix there and Argentina win it back inside their own 22. Real determination to keep this game moving. 15 at the back is Silver Tiao. Getting a bit scrappy over the far side and eventually running into touch. But a quick fire opening, both sides determined to show what they can do with the ball in hand. Excellent covering. There's André mounted that first attack for the French Barbarians. A few kilos in that last Pumas pack, 891. The Barbarians are going to have to do some tackling because these forwards from Argentina are just going to keep running straight at them. Found by Figueroa, the scrum half. Silver Tien, the most improved number 15s in French rugby recently, but marginally forward that. Julien Dupuis through Lionel Boxis, on for Adrien Planté. And France trying to make ground down the right. Reply comes straight away from Contopomi. Lovely pass. Barge on from Senatore, Figueroa, Ronquero. One of the 13 players in the Argentine team who plays his club rugby in France. Oh, excellent break. Marcelo Bosch, once again, ball turned over. French Barbarians booted away. And drew quickly up there on Figueroa. Take it on by captain Pierre Rabelin. Fed away through Matthias Roland. France showing that their forwards have got a bit of power too. Brilliant day for running rugby. And it looks like that's what we're going to get. Monte taken down. Argentina have got it, it's coming back slowly, eventually 
into the arms of uh, Rodriguez and a good boot downfield. Tremendous start. There's Voslu, the South African who plays like a French flanker. He's quite at home in this team. Forward pass knocked on anyway. And it's picked up by Gonzalo Camache. Frantic start, brilliant stuff. Crowd be absolutely thrilled by this. Bosch with the ball in hand again. Lovely cut inside. Oh, pass just couldn't find his men. Figueroa stretching for it. Nobody else backing up. Ball staying in play here. So Rodriguez goes back. Foot into touch. Ball still moving. Four minutes, 28 on the clock. And this has been... A sprint, a four minute 28 sprint for both sides. So, French Barbarians looking to pinch this if they can. Augustin Crevy and Clermont Averne is the Argentine hooker. Gets it to the front, well taken. Secured it, now they need to get it away. Lovely goes from Figueroa. Borges trying to get underneath it, eventually it falls to Bustos, who's looked good in this early stages, no sign of nerves from him, kicked away by Horacio San Martin, who's uh, not that experienced in international rugby, just a couple of caps so far. This is Silvia Tian again. Seen a lot of ball in the early stages. Lionel Boxis. Now he'll be one of the men who's trying to impress Mark Nievremont, try and force his way as a late addition into the French squad. He's already with 15 French caps. Into Permi. He's going to stab Francais then next season to replace Boxy, who's so off on his bike. So, absolutely every reason just to stroll down to take this line out because the opening has been so frantic six minutes 38 gone and uh, nothing on the board not for one to try Caro breathing hard there and, uh, gets hold of it turns and immediately wants to take it into contact Creevy, powerful man. A few powerful men on the other side as well. Front row virtually all known uh, so well to each other. They're all Castro or ex Castro. One back, here goes Voslu again. Every opportunity he gets to run forwards, he'll take. just making sure that it's definitely going to come back on the French Barbarian side South African who uh, never got a chance with the Springboks when he was over there born in Pretoria has played some great rugby while he's been in France kick comes in from Boxies taken on the far side that's Kamash again Marsh played for Harlequins in England and uh, looking a decent prospect too. See Bozlu with the offload to Caban. Caban not tackled, just stumbling, so he could play the ball.
Matteo Bonello, it's the hooker. Julian Dupuis, knocked down by Leonardo Sanatore. Throw not straight anyway. Free kick. Barbarians not coming in quite straight. Taken on by Senatori. He's looking a good prospect now. Creevy. Creevy's had a couple of good, powerful runs. Combining well with the rest of his pack. Taken on by Roncaro. Carizza trying to find the ball. But this is lock partner Galazzo who takes it on. Smashing start to this game, not ten minutes gone yet, plenty of incident, lots of running rugby. That's Bustos, he's the new boy. Creevy. Booksy's trying to deal with those two. Not a job to be recommended. Pastrana keeps a look on this one. I think he's just going to reset it. Barry's ball, Julian Dupuy. Uh, Leicester scrum half, he's got it, it's uh, going to be a Barbarians penalty. Says so that that powerful front row of Broncaro, Creevy and Bustos were the three who were mainly responsible for taking it down. So Barbarians with a chance to clear their lines, Boxis who's doing all the kicking. And that's a decent belt out of defence too. Lionel Buxis, 25 year old from uh, Tarbes. And then looking at the uh, Pumas bench, Eusebio Guinazu, who's now playing in South Africa with the Stormers. And uh, a couple more who are playing in France with uh, Carballo and also Alexandro Campos. A pretty multinational background to this uh, Argentine side brilliant breakthrough wonderfully done there by Bouches and straight under the post well where did that gap suddenly come from Guillaume Bouches the 29 year old another Stade Francais player and absolutely ran straight through the gap opening in the center right in the center of the Argentine defense lovely swift passing direct running and that's the result French Barbarians on the board and they lead five points to nil in the 13th minute and Boxies collects the extra two terrific sidestep lovely running massive hole in the Argentine defence and he took full advantage Argentina ball Ooh -ooh. tremendous force to in there oh well that was unlucky Senatori just couldn't quite pick it up Argentina still with it Revy again taken on by Carizza was Lou in there but pretty soon shoved out of it there goes Roncaro well great this is Leguizamore what a lovely angled run now they've got to get back Figueroa swallowed up Argentina have got the advantage and they got the penalty Barbarians coming in from the wrong angle 
was Le Guisemont's angled run which sowed the confusion in the French Barbarians ranks. Now Condepomi is off and the pass just goes astray, just not quite into the hands of Lucas Borges. So line out this side of the field. No, we're not. We're going to have a. Uh, we're going to have a scrum down. Saying that the pass from Contabomi to Borges was forwards. Seven going off his uh, Rabadan. He's got a guess that he's got a cut. He's the captain, so I doubt if they'd uh, take him off this early in the game. Antoine Klaassen is the back row replacement. It's just eluding Borges. It's near side of the field. Barbarians to get it in cleanly, get it off the back, get the ball away. But a referee didn't hold him as long this time. Still, they go down. Comes off the back through got Shuli. No room for maneuver. Senatore in there, told to go back. Bozlu inevitably. away by Dupuis, doesn't find touch, Le Guisemont back inside for Borges, this is a good run, excellent run, was he taken out, looked like Rodriguez was alongside and the French Barbarians I think just took him out but anyway they're going to carry on, here goes uh, Le Guisemont and just couldn't quite squeeze in, San Martin on that, yes, eventually, well it looked as though he'd been forced out on the far side, but they kept on. Reward for persistence. And it's Fessier, the former sail flanker, who's actually got the touchdown. This was the run that started it. Brilliant stuff by Borges. Still trying to work down that uh, left side. Le Guisemont passes it on. Pass inside just before he was shoved into touch and Fessia picks up the ball from San Martin and over he goes Pomi. he doesn't miss many and he's not missed that one all level thrilling game here there's Le Guisemont's pass San Martin just getting it back in field the loose ball snapped up by Fessier real reward for persistence there and it's 7 all. one sock from Stade Francais one sock from uh, the French Barbarians Good enough on that it's taken by Senatore now Le Guisemont is finding more and more room much more room to roam than he did in the opening first five minutes or so himself to his feet he just might get the chance to go off on another of those buffeting runs of his that's Bustos is in there trying to make sure it comes back on the Argentine side it is but painfully slowly attack for the Barbarians from Roland Figueroa 
would like an option. Instead, he hands the job of clearing out to uh, Ronquero. Pushes on the extra couple of metres or so. Pontepomi swiftly finds his man, San Martino, on the run again. Borges coming in looking for it. Figueroa shifts it on. Good work by the French. Driving them back. Rodriguez is the fullback. Not had much chance to run yet. Probably will see quite a bit. Here goes Creevy. We've seen plenty of him operating in the loose. Vosloo in there with the tackle. And again, holds on well. Great stuff from the South African. Back by Figueroa. Gone to Pomi. Wild pass for Borges. Not much they could do about that. Eventually, yes, it brilliantly done by Leguizamon. Just kicked too far ahead. Didn't stand up for it. Away goes Dupuy. He's now by San Martin. Forward, forwards. So referee calls run down, margin time ball. Mathieu Benello, the Barbarians uh, hooker. Just thought he needed a bit of attention actually he's okay he's ready to go again back comes the captain Rabadan takes his place in the back row For number eight is Shuli Rabadan is seven Vosloo is six for the French Barbarians Good scrum, but it just didn't move for the uh, Argentines. French doing a terrific job. Gonna have this one reset. It's front row. Just get up and they just start grinning at each other. They're loving every second of it. Fierce, rough, tough competition. Absolutely relishing it. Ball in, going down again. The referee might start to get fed up with this. Time off, so uh, you probably want to talk with somebody. The Argentine try, Le Guizamont, San Martin, back in field, just and Fessier picking up the loose ball. France are sure, the French Barbarians are sure that uh, San Martin was pushed out. The officials don't agree, and if you look at the scoreboard, you see that, that doesn't agree either. Senor Pastrana, referee. He wants another one, another scrum to go down. Senatore trying to pick it up. No, it's gone round, says the ref, so it's a ball over. <laughs> These front rows won't mind this, just love it. Rub it out, that crack on the head. So after an opening period which was all thunderous running, you've had a small period now which has been all front rows and packs battling against each other. Into the game for the first time for a while comes Tian. Lovely offload. Taken on first by Bousses. And now by the winger Planté. And that was wonderfully worked. We've seen so much of the close quarters game. And then suddenly the Barbarians just break it out. This man first, Tian. Then on for Bousses. Tackled and held. Planté on the run. Lovely take by Tian. And again, 
Superb. Just take it through the hands. There's not much as Figueroa could do it once it had got to that stage. So, 29 minutes gone. And uh, Dupuy just pulls that across the front of the post there. The range 7 12. Rodriguez just held on, but Lante was there. Twelve seven, the French Barbarians lead. Terrific game. Ten minutes to go to half time. Yeah, make sure that that was cleared out. Here goes uh, Dupuy. Back inside for Lante. Ball going out. Didn't. Vosloo just grabs it. Battles his way through. Needs a bit of support here. Got it in the end. Vosloo not released in the tackle. So that's penalty French Barbarians. Got a look of the Andy Ripley's about him, and he also plays a bit like him too. Silbertian, left-footed, try and get a bit of ground down that uh, far touchline. A tremendous attacking force. For the French Barbarians, Silvertia, born in the Ivory Coast and uh, now playing for Bougouin. <laughs> Referee said the Barbarians knocked that one forwards. The two good results for Barbarians of different types over the last couple of weeks barbarians against england winning and then barbarians against wales winning in the millennium today and then can the french barbarians round off a hat trick pole position at the moment 12 points to seven Eight minutes to the break. Senatore. Look good, the young number eight. Creevy, Hooker also look good. Now, Contopomi. Hasn't quite got his finger on the pulse of this match throughout this first half. He's been really running things and controlling it. It goes into Gizemon. Figueroa. Contopomi again. Didn't find Roncaro. Ball must have gone forwards at some point. Question of which hand pushed it forwards and it was a French barbarian one. And this is what's happening between the two packs. There's the Gizemont hammered down. And this was the aftermath of that uh, try scored by Fessy. Untidy. Centauri 
leading the charge. Figueroa hoping to carry it on. Oh, French Barbarians come up with it. That's okay, says the referee. Now, can they keep control of it? Ristia makes sure on this side of the scrum that he does. Bonello can't do too much with it because he's uh, not actually in contact with the ground. But away through Ronquero. Senatore, what a terrific run. Just strides away from Dupuis. Now hands it off again to Figueroa. Has he got the legs get right the way back? No, he was just into touch. Just slid into touch. Lightning break. Led by Leonardo Senatore. On for Agustin Figueroa. Foot in touch. Just could not claim the try. Here you go. Slid. Contact with the white line before he put it down. Great move. So we've got about five minutes to go to half time. Terrific first half so far. Nothing to complain about. All action. Plenty of grunt between the two packs. This is flash by. Roncaro, battle hardened veteran, saw service of course with Gloucester. This is uh, Mattia Bonello who needs a bit of attention. And uh, Rabbit out who's already had a fair amount. Occupational hazard for a hooker, top level of the game. Neck and shoulders. Twisted and turned. So, Bornello gets up off the deck and uh, now has the job of throwing this in straight. I um, don't think it was very straight. The referee agrees. So, Argentine ball. No surprise that after taking a knock like that, that the hooker couldn't throw it in properly. He's waiting for Ronquero. And his boot lace is tied. Freebie and the young man Bustos settle into it. Now they know that they need a decent shove here and they will be in total control. The opportunity of levelling matters up. Round it goes. <laughs> Rabadan just telling his uh, tight head David Atou, ex caster and now with Stade Francais, just to calm down a bit. Got to go with it. Senatore, Figueroa, Figueroa this time gets it down. Not from the touch judge. He says, yes, that's okay. And that has leveled it up. Exactly what Argentina wanted. Control of the scrum. The break from the back. The Barbarians unsure which side they were going to go. And in the end, it was Figueroa who broke through to touchdown. Senatore's been so impressive in that pack. Figueroa, even though he got Voslu hanging all over him, had the momentum to get through and over. There's Voslu. Didn't quite get enough of him. Didn't get the shoulder in to be able to stop the uh, direction, change, make him change direction. And Figueroa dots it down. So 12 all immediately before half time. Pony with the conversion.
got hold of it well but pulled it so it remains 12 all and this is how it came about the number eight for his scrum half typical combination Boslu saw it too late to really get enough of the scrum half to prevent him getting over and that levels it all up at 12 all two tries each and uh, one conversion two standing off because he's probably going to have to do a bit of tackling should uh, the likes of Creevy come round out of the back of this mall now Ronquero driving it forwards Bustos goes Creevy again done some ball carrying that hooker Figueroa can't me always waiting Rodriguez Figueroa again I think Rodriguez just getting in front of uh, Figueroa referee lets it go Argentina trying desperately to find a way through Camash knocked down over on the far sides into touch as well and we've got about 40 seconds to go before the uh, end of the half it's pretty good handling in close confines there Kamash just dragged in Voslu obviously had a lot to do with that so we've got time for the line out No surprise that the pace of this match is, uh, has dropped slightly. Started off so furiously, could not continue at that rate. So we're playing a bit of overtime at the end of this first half because uh, French Bulgarians can't get their line out sorted out, but probably deliberately. Ends up in Argentine hands anyway. Here goes uh, Bustos. Young man from Santa Fe University. He's had a great first half. Figueroa through Ronquero and Leguizamont. Leguizamont half stopped by uh, Boxes. Creevy. Well, the ball's just gone forward, so the referee looks at his watch and says, that will conclude the entertainment for this uh, first half. And it has been entertainment indeed. Fast and furious in the opening stages. It slowed down a bit when the big boys wanted to play. And uh, Lockhorn's down in the scrum and we've ended up with two tries apiece and a conversion apiece and it's uh, all level at 12 all that's Figueroa's try just before the break which leveled things up Voslu in despair that he couldn't just couldn't work him out and push him into touch before he got the ball over the line so there you are half time and it's 12 all